we know that uh, proper fractions are fractions where the numerator is less than the denominator. So uh, an example of that would be like 3 fourths. The top is smaller than the bottom. And that means that it's a number that's less than 1, right? This is 3 fourths of one whole thing. It's less than one whole thing. OK. So of course, there are also improper fractions. Improper fractions are where the number uh, on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom. And all that means is that we have more than one whole thing. We have at least one whole thing plus some extra. We might even have two whole things or three whole things, depending on how big the top is compared to the bottom. And so that's called an improper fraction. Now, all the rules of arithmetic, uh, all the rules we've learned for fractions apply to improper fractions just as well as to proper fractions. It's just that they happen to represent numbers that are a little bit bigger. So a number like 7 fourths is really, if we have one whole thing and we divide it into fourths, that one whole is 4 fourths, so we actually need to go to a second whole. So we've got 4 fourths and then 3 more to make 7. That's what 7 fourths looks like. It's more than 1, not quite 2. All right. OK, so that's fine. And so we understand what that means. And as I said, uh, all the rules are the same. You add, subtract, multiply, and divide improper fractions just the same way as if they were proper. Nothing is different. The one place where things can be different if you want them to be is that uh, when you do have an improper fraction, there's another way to write it, uh, and that's called a mixed number. So the idea here, the idea of a mixed number is a whole number and a proper fraction. So like a combination, sort of a hybrid between just plain old whole numbers and then regular proper fractions. And you can turn any improper fraction into this kind of a thing, into uh, a mixed number. And so using this 7 fourths example, right, we would say, well, it's one whole. So we've now taken care of these four of fourths, so forget about them. And now just concentrate on this one, and that's 3 fourths, right? So one and three-fourths. And that's the way you say it. One and three-fourths is how people generally say it with the word and in between. And you don't write anything in between them. You just put them right next to each other. But there's kind of an understood plus, right? Because it's one plus three-fourths. We're, we're putting them together. So it's an addition, really. But you don't generally write the plus. OK, so we can always convert any improper fraction into uh, a mixed number. So if we had something like 5 thirds, how would we, that's improper, how would we convert that to a mixed number? So you can draw the picture and all that, or you can at least visualize that in your mind, and that's a good way to do it. A, a more formal and systematic way is to think this way. How many times does 3 go into 5? And I don't uh, I don't want a decimal answer or anything like that. I mean, how many times evenly before you go past 5? So obviously 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 left over. So in other words, like, to write this in sort of a grade school way, 3 goes into 5 one time with a remainder of 2, right? So the answer is it's 1. That's This guy is your whole number part. And then this guy goes with your fraction. Two, it's the numerator of your fraction. And you just use the same denominator. It's always going to be, if this was thirds, then this will be thirds. So 5 thirds is 1 and 2 thirds. Uh, let me do another one. So if we had something like 30 sevenths. Either on the side or in your mind, you think to yourself, OK, how many times does 7 go into 30? Well, 7 times 4 is 28, right? That, so that means it goes in four times, but two left over. So two sevenths, four and two sevenths. OK. Yeah, so four and two sevenths is just another name for 30 sevenths. So that's converting from improper to mixed. Now we can go the other way as well. We can convert the other way. We can start with a mixed number, say two and a third, two and one third. 
and we can convert it to uh, the improper uh, the improper fraction version of itself. And the way you do that is you say, okay, well, well, so the easiest way I think is, again, the denominator never changes when you're doing these conversions. So we're still going to be thirds. It's just going to, we're going to have a number here that's bigger than three now. And what you do is you multiply two times three, and then you add one. So two, three times two is six, plus one is seven. Seven thirds. Five and three eighths. Eight, uh, so it's eighths. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 3 more is 43. Right, so that's the idea. And what's going on there is, so 5, right, like 8 eighths is 1, 16 eighths would be 2, 24 eighths, uh, 32 eighths, 40 eighths, right? 5 would be 40 eighths. So this, is, this guy is representing 40 eighths, and then this 3 is just 3 more, so 43 eighths, because remember there's an understood plus here. Okay, so that's how we uh, convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers.